this is the evolution of the Razor pocket bike. The original front end has aluminum mag style non-balanced rims. The front end is is very cheaply welded in right here. And then there's mounts on the back of the handlebars. Uh, the frame is is solid on the original one. It has these solid rubber feet for uh, for your feet. Also has an aluminum rear wing. The second generation has the aluminum rim still. It's still welded right here. But this time they they got the uh, aluminum mounts. The plastic on this one would be the same. I just painted that one. Uh, it's the same plastic type and everything. It's really rigid. Uh, frame is solid. This one has, I think they're aluminum or it could be white metal, but collapsible feet stands. Um, again, it has an aluminum rear wheel on it. The tires that they put on the second generations were a little bit harder compound due to people that weren't even racing them so they didn't really need a sticky compound. It has this this gray brake on it that actually has like uh, what a car style drum brake would have the pads that go out not like this bike that comes stock with a leather brake pad strap uh, this is sadly the third generation razor I just picked this one up today as you can see they don't even have the stickers mounted on there's bubbles all over the other stuff the material they make these new fairings out of doesn't even feel solid anymore it feels like it's a rubber uh, they use solid rims which don't have that much rolling free resistance so they're kind of held up they still weld the front end on but they went back with the original style front end how it's got those little mounts on it so they I guess they downgraded that's definitely a way better front end um, the new rim package probably adds weight in the end but maybe it's more balanced because it's stamped out I don't know the material again that they use is almost rubber made it, it's almost like the stuff that they make trash cans out of I guess I don't know it's like it's really really flimsy I don't know um, the battery strap is no longer they use a steel battery bar um, the rear fork is is now pushed in I guess I think they think that this gives it a better rigidity other than the other ones but then again this might actually be an easier install of the rear wheel now because you don't have the piece that's inside there to actually give it support to actually try and push in they went back to the black leather brake and the kickstand which the the tri mount like how the original pocket bikes actually have and the real racing bikes have is a lot better but again I don't think they can put a tri mount on these crappy ass foot bags oh this is the other thing plastic yeah what's gonna happen when you crash this bike when it's out like that you're gonna snap it off right here I don't know I don't know what they were thinking this is definitely a 10 year old's bike now no longer something that anybody over the age of 14 should be on it is definitely a power wheels well that concludes 
Oh, yeah, plus uh, I do believe they lowered the speed on these now, too. It's 15 miles an hour. It's no longer 18. Oh, again, bubbles. Yeah, they really did a great job on this video.